Day 6 of the Divine Infant's Christmas Novena Every Day Prayer O most benign God of infinite charity, who loves mankind so much that you gave us in your Son the best token of your love, that you became man in the womb of the Virgin, to be born in a manger for our health and remedy. I, in the name of all humanity, give infinite thanks for this sovereign gift. In return, I offer you the poverty, humility, and other virtues of your Son, made man, beseeching you for his divine merits, for the inconveniences in which he was born, and for the tender tears that spilled in the manger. Prepare our hearts with profound humility and fiery love and total contempt of all the earthly things, so that the newborn Jesus may keep his cradle in them and dwell there eternally. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sixth Consideration Jesus had been conceived in Nazareth, in the residence of Joseph and Mary, and in all probability he should have been born there, but God had arranged otherwise, and the prophets had announced that the Messiah will be born in Bethlehem of Judah, city of David. In order to fulfill this prediction, God used an instrument that did not seem to have any relation with his purpose. The order given by the Emperor Augusto that all the subjects of the Roman Empire were to be registered in the land of their native birthplace, Mary and Joseph, as he, as he descends of David, were obliged to go to Bethlehem. Jesus did not ignore the place in which he should be born and thus inspires his parents to surrender to Providence, and in this manner they assent to the execution of his plans. <clears throat> Interior souls take heed of the divine child's ways, because it is the most important lesson of spiritual life. Learn that whoever has surrendered to God no longer belongs to oneself, nor should one accept that which God wants from him. Prayer to the Most Holy Virgin Sovereign Mary, by your great virtues and especially by your humility, you rightly deserve that God will choose you for his mother. I implore that you prepare my soul and the souls of all those who are making this novena at this time for the spiritual birth of your adored Son. O sweetest Mother, grant us the profound recollection and divine tenderness in which you waited for God, so that we may become worthy to see, love and adore Him for all eternity. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph O Most Holy Saint Joseph, husband of Mary and adopted father of Jesus, I give God infinite thanks because he chose you for such a noble position and adorned you with all the gifts worthy of such excellent greatness. I request that by the love that you have for the divine child born in me, the fervent desires to see him and to receive him sacramentally, until I may see and take joy in his divine essence in heaven. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Joys, Divine Infant Jesus. Oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, Come, our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come, our souls are waiting. Come, our souls are waiting. With his highest wisdom, our sovereign God smiled and chose to be lowered to the state of a child. Divine Infant, come teach us and we will agree. With the prudence we learn, true wise men will be. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come, our souls are waiting. Come, our souls are waiting. O powerful God, through Moses is speaking to Israel's people, the commandments he's seeking. This child seems so weak, yet his arms are so strong. Come promptly to save us and keep us from wrong. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. O most holy root, bloom of Jesse's tree, present to the world, your fragrance, so sweet, dear child, flower of the field, 
Lily of the Valley, you are now revealed. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. The great key of David that opens the doors and welcomes the exiled to royal palace shores. Baby Jesus, release us with your gentle aid from this tragic jail which our sins have made. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls away. O oh, light of the east, the eternal sun's rays, splendours in the darkness and falls on our gaze. O oh, precious child, our Christian joy, show us your smile, O oh, dear sweet boy. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. Holy of Holies, a spotless mirror, the unsurpassed image, Almighty God's nearer. You come as a child and save the banished, protect the wretched, and our sins are vanished. O oh, oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. The King of Nations, illustrious Emmanuel, Shepherd of the flock, the longed for of Israel, sweet child who guards the dear little lamb with your staff, gently guides the sheep and the ram. O oh, oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. The heavens open up. Rain falls from above, beneficial dews wash us with love. Come, God incarnate, new child unconcealed, the star's brilliant light, flower of the field. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting. For your love so mild, come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. Come and see Mary, who readies her arms to hold her newborn and share her son's charms. Come, see Saint Joseph, yearning, mild as a dove, preparing of himself a tabernacle of your love. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. 
for the suffering, protector of the weak, comfort for the sad, light whom the banished seek, life of my life, my adored master, my constant friend, my divine pastor. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. I see before me you whom I love, I kiss your feet and your hands above. Prostrate on the ground, with my arms stretched out, what my words can't confirm, my cries leave no doubt. O oh, oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. Come our Saviour, for whom we wait, come to our souls, do not be late. O oh, my sweetest Jesus, my beloved child, come our souls are waiting for your love so mild. Come our souls are waiting, come our souls are waiting. Prayer to the Divine Infant Jesus Remember, O Holy Child Jesus, that that which you have said to Venerable Sister Margaret of the Blessed Sacrament. These were so full of consolation for our poor, burdened and suffering humanity. Ask all that you desire to the merits of my holy childhood. Nothing will be refused you. At this time, we present our intentions to the baby Jesus. Full of confidence in you, O Jesus, who are truth itself, we come to make known all our misery to you, Help us to lead a holy life in order to attain a blessed eternity. Grant us through the infinite merits of your incarnation and of your childhood, the graces of which we are in most need. No, we should not be deceived in our hope. We abandon ourselves to you, O omnipotent God, so that in virtue of your divine promise, you will favorably Receive and deign to grant our prayer. Amen. We reflect upon this sixth day of the Novena and place ourselves especially closer and closer to this great gift of the birth of Jesus. Today is a reading from the Song of Songs is this reading of hope. I hear my beloved, see how he comes leaping over the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window, he peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice, he says to me, Come then, my love, my lovely one, come, for see, winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the season of glad songs has come, the cooing of the turtle dove is heard in our land, 
The fig tree is forming its first figs, and the blossoming vines give out their fragrance. Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the covers of the cliff, show me your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is beautiful. This is what Christmas is about. Christmas is bringing us hope, joy, and is preparing our hearts for the greatest gift, as if in, as if in the springtime, when everything blossoms and, and the birds are just singing even louder and prettier and everything seems to be bright. And this is what Christmas is about in our hearts. This should be a springtime, a springtime that will never end because it is the springtime of eternal life where there will be no sunsets anymore, no night. It's only light, eternal light, because it will be the eternal sunshine, God, in our midst. And this is what we should keep and hold in our hearts as the spirit of Christmas. It's true that many of us could be, could be going through difficult times during this Christmas, but we have to keep these difficult times with a smile. The world is upside down, we know. A lot of terrible things are happening. A lot of people are not having a good Christmas. Some are mourning the death of their loved ones. Some are hungry. They don't have a roof on top of their heads. Some are living a horrible, violent time at war. And so many other prisoners of all kinds, prisoners of sin, the most horrifying prison, prisoners of all kinds of situations in life, disease. So many people abandoned and rejected. All of this is, goes on in spite of Christmas season. But, but what is important is to understand that Christmas is teaching us through the Divine Infant that we are pilgrims and that all of these that I mentioned and so many other circumstances in this earthly life are going to come to pass and that that is only a temporary state and this is our hope. Our hope is that we are preparing ourselves to, to embrace our health, our, our permanent health and this is what God wants us to understand. Christmas is the promise, the promise that we can already see in the horizon. And, and we, we should focus on that, our horizon of hope, where Jesus is there on the mountain with his arms open, waiting for us. And he, had, he has already prepared that place he promised for us he will when he ascended to heaven. Amen.